What's up creators, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to show you guys how to make Instagram story music video previews for, you know, when you're done with your music video and you wanna display it like on your Instagram story, you want it to look good, right? So let's jump onto the computer and let me show you guys how to do it. All right, so as you can see right here, I already have a music video pulled up, the whole folder with all the clips. I've already made some actual IG story previews, but I'm gonna start from scratch and make some new ones. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to open up the music video in your video edited program. Um, I use Premiere Pro, some people use Final Cut, it doesn't matter what exactly you use, just open up the video editing program and let's start a new project and let's call this Instagram Story Music Video Preview. Okay, let's open that up. So you might have yours set up differently. You might even have a different program. I go new sequence. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to import the music video. So let's go get that music video. Where is that at right here? Let's drag that in. Once it goes, there we go. Now all you need to do is scrub through this music video and figure out which screenshots you want to get. I'm just going to go through and grab some real quick. So I'm going to grab this one. What you need to do to get these screenshots is there's a little camera down here that says export frame if you use Adobe Premiere Pro. If you don't, uh, maybe you could just, if you use an iMac or a MacBook, you can do Shift Command 4 and that'll let you drag over what you want to screenshot and that'll grab a screenshot for you. But I easily just do it without pushing this camera export frame and I export it to my desktop. Oh, that's perfect right there. Export frame. Boom. Now we got our screenshots. You can do two, you can do four, you can do however many you want. You can blend them together. It's like all subjective, but I'm just gonna use two for this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide Premiere Pro. I'm gonna open up Photoshop, create new, and I'm gonna do 1080 by 1920. Now we have that same size. What I typically do is I'll paint the background black. I'll bring in the pictures or the screenshots that I got here. Open those up. This is my favorite one. So I'm gonna use this, um, what tool is this? The rectangular marquee tool. I'm gonna highlight the part that I want cause I don't want those black bars. I'm gonna copy, come back to this and paste. Now we got this nice screenshot to play with. Um, I wanna go get the other picture as well or screen grab. Copy that one, bring it in, paste. Now you need to figure out how you want to put these pictures together and then cut out your space for the music video to be in. So I think I'm just gonna go like this, scale it up a little bit. This one I'm gonna scale down a little bit or up a little bit, I'm sorry. I'm gonna position it about right there. Now we got this, this space, these hard lines that we wanna get rid of. I'm thinking I'm gonna put the video about right here. You can do it with just the marquee tool and you can measure out the area that you want like that. And uh, what I'll do is make a new layer and I'll paint that white and I'll bring it to the top, bring that layer to the top so I can see where the music video would be at. So it'll be right there. Now we still got these hard lines. So what you wanna do is get an erase tool and you wanna go through your brushes and see what you can find. Uh, I download a lot of brushes from brusheasy.com and you can use those to uh, erase. You see how I erase that hard line or I could just go like this, kind of tear it up a little bit and go up to the top one, tear it up a little bit, make it look a little grungy. Actually, we could just do it like that on the picture that and if you take out that black background now you got that space for your video to be in because this has no picture in it it's just clear so you could do it just like that that's pretty cool I'm actually gonna keep that nah that's it that's it forget the square rectangle part we'll take that out that's perfect now all we do need to do is add text with text you want to be really simple and clean you can have like the title look flashy and then have the artist's name look simple that's how I usually do on site that's the name of the song Make that bigger than your um, artist's name. I'm gonna just grab that right there. Then option is the artist's name. I'm gonna bring the size of that down, kind of small, right to about like an eight. And I'll spread it out a little bit using this tool right here. You wanna place it somewhere right over it, make it look good. So I want it to line up with that end just so that it has that aesthetic. Perfect right there. Now you should go about two jumps up from the name of the song. Now we're already looking good. Like this looks fresh already. Sometimes I'll add like a filter, sharpen, unsharp mask, 
50 1.0 just to sharpen it up a little bit, go to the other picture, do the same thing. Then comes the last part where you want to say who this video is directed by. You want to put your name on it. So I'll usually do like directed by, bring it to the top, over top of the picture, clearly. And then you just want to find a space where it looks good. So boom, let me bring in my logo, open up logo PNG. You just want to click, hold, and drag that into this file. And then Command T, if you're using Mac, is uh, transform. Then you can just bring it down to the size you want. Hold Shift to keep that um, keep that in perspective. Right. You want to right click on the logo, do blending options, and color overlay, so you can change the color of it. Change it to white. If you're not familiar with all these settings with like Photoshop, I advise like looking up some tutorials on like learning the actual shortcut keys and stuff like that. That's not what this tutorial is about today. I'm just kind of showing you how I make these music video previews directed by Creative Ryan. So right there, I think that looks cool. Or you could like center it right there and find a spot for it, which about right there looks cool. Now, boom, now we have a frame. And what you want to do now, once you got the frame, you want to make sure this is, you can see that checkerboard in the middle because that's where your video is going to go. And you just got to take your background out right there. Uh, you can click this eyeball, unclick it, and it'll take out that background. And if you want to see what it looks like with it, just highlight it back again. So we want to take it out. Make sure you see that checkerboard when you go to save it, go to file, save, make sure that the format is a PNG, go to desktop, and we're gonna say IG frame, save. Okay, now real quick, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep this text. I'm gonna take these pictures out and I'm gonna show you that rectangle one real quick. Uh, I wanna copy, paste. Uh, I did command T to transform, I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Boom, about right there. Let's get that other screen grab, drop that one in, command T to make it Transform, hold shift while you do this too. I'm gonna bring it up into this other photo like that. Let's position it over a little bit. Now what you really wanna do is you wanna blend these in together. So we're gonna get that um, erase tool. We're gonna come look at our brushes. We wanna get a soft edge circle. So you got a hard edge circle and a soft edge circle. You want the soft one because it just blends it easier. A hard line is gonna be a hard line with that hard edge circle. So we get that one we just kinda Erase off that, some of that, make it blend in a little better. Now let's highlight that black background back there again. So if we do miss any spots, it's covered by that black. Let's get it close to there so it kind of blends a little better right there. Boom. Blend it in as good as you can. Now we got a kind of blended in spot, which looks pretty good. So let's go back and grab that rectangular marquee tool and let's figure out what we want. You could go edge to edge all the way like this, or if you want to have a little bit more of the picture still in there, you can just do it like this. You see, it gives you that center line up. So you drop it like that, make a new layer, make sure we got white, and then let's drop paint it like that. So now our video can go in this box. Now we just need to figure out where we want to put it. So command T, I'm going to bring it down a little bit just so I can have it a little bit over top of his head right there so you can see him. I think that's perfect. So we go right there. So now what you want to do is you want to do command and over here there's a little preview on the layer of what is in the actual project. You can see the little rectangle right there. Hold command and click it to get marching ants. You see the marching ants are this like white and black line that's moving kind of around it. So that means you have that square highlighted. Click that eyeball and now we can see where the actual square or rectangle is gonna be at. So now we just wanna go to the pictures and cut out those parts and then command D will deselect it. Now if we take the background out, you can see there's some little checkers still back there like that. So we're gonna keep that background in and all we're gonna do is we're gonna get that rectangle tool. We're gonna go over it like this. Right below the bottom of that rectangle, we gotta actually duplicate the background. The background's locked. So we'll duplicate it, unhighlight it, and now we have the black still as a background hit delete and then deselect. Now we have that square and we have our pictures blended nice. Now let's bring our back our text. Now we gotta move it because it was positioned differently from the last one. I'll say about right there looks good. And then directed by can come up a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. And then you can even go to the top layer, make a new um, layer, go to your brush tool B and you can download some brushes to make some cool overlay stuff or effects that go over top of it. And maybe like throw it in like that. 
uh, nah, let's see, maybe like that. Now we got this cool like overlay over top of it. Would look, it looks pretty cool to me. So what you'll need to do now is go back to that square or that rectangle, bring in the visibility of it, hold command and click on that little preview so you can get those March ants again and then hide it. And on this filter, as you can see, it's kind of peeking in into that square or rectangle. I keep saying square. And then you want to hit delete. That way it takes everything out of that area from that brush and then deselect. Now we have a square right there for our video to go in and this looks pretty cool. So I'm going to save this now. Um, I want to make sure that the format is a PNG. We're going to say IG frame two. save. Okay. Now save both of those to my desktop. Now we can back out of here for real. And that's all subjective. You can do it any way you want. This is just kind of like simple breakdown of how I would do it if I was like to do it right now. Yeah. There's so many ways you can do it. You can play with it. However, We're back in here, we got the music video in here. Now what we want to do is double click and bring in those frames import those frames in. Now we got the frames. Now we need to click on our sequence because we have to change it because it's 1920 by 1080. That's not gonna fit into our IG story. We need to go to sequence, sequence settings. We need to change the size of it, not 1920 by 1080, but 1080 by 1920. That's the complete opposite, 1080 by 1920. And this fits perfectly into your IG story. All right, so let's bring our frame down in here. We'll put it on the third one. Now you can see it fits perfectly in there. Now let's just find the part of the music video that we want to go in there. I'm going to just go from the intro right here is a mark in key. I just marked it in the point that I wanted to come in. Now we got in there. Your, your IG story is around 14 to 15 seconds. I usually just do 14 seconds. So let's go frame by frame over to 14 and we could just cut all this off. Click on the music video. We want to go to effects, controls, motion. Now you want to size it down to fit in there. I'm just going to right click on here and do scale to frame. That way it goes into the same size that I have on the sequence. We're just going to scroll it up to that little circle is in the middle and we can even bring it down a little bit more. Let's go scale 90 We can bring it down a little bit more. So it fits perfectly almost in there. Let's do 83 and make sure that circle is right in the center. That way you don't get those black bars in there. And if you play it, you got your music video right inside of that frame. You got that frame sitting right over top of that music video. So now you have a cool Instagram music video preview, or we can go and bring in the other frame that we made. And let's delete that other frame, just drag it out so it goes over top of it. Now, as you see, the music video is a little too small, so let's resize it back to 100%. Let's bring it down. Kind of weird when you use like brushes and make these grungy kind of looks because the music video has that hard black line and you can kind of see it. So what you wanna do is you just wanna scale it up till you don't see it anymore. So I'm gonna just go 115. Let's make this a little bigger. That's a good frame because it has color all the way across it. Let's see, you see the hard line, let's drag it out till you don't see the hard line anymore. Boom, let's make sure we don't got a hard line down at the bottom. And that's about perfect right there. You just run it like that. Now you got your music video in there inside of this cool frame. It looks good. So what I do next is I do file and I wanna export it out at this size to make sure that it fits perfectly in my IG story. I just go down to the YouTube 1080p full. And as you can see, there's black on the sides of what it would be exported out as because the size of it is 1920 by 1080. I just use that preset so I can get all the right settings for the export. And then all you gotta do is click match source and it'll make it the actual size of your sequence and you're good. Output name, IG frame, tutorial, Put it on the desktop, save and export out. The basics of it are you wanna make sure that the size when you create this in Photoshop is 1080 by 1920, so it fits perfectly into the IG story. Then you wanna take pictures or screen grabs from your music video and kind of blend them up to look good in there. And then you wanna make the section for your music video to be previewed at, and whether it be a square, a rectangle, a circle. You wanna make sure that you erase that part so you have no background, it's transparent. You can see that checkerboard and then you save it as a PNG bring it in, size that music video to fit underneath that frame and then export it out. And all you gotta do is airdrop it to your phone or Dropbox it to your phone, whatever program you use or however you do it. I personally use airdrop so I get that full quality right to my iPhone from my Mac and then I upload it right to Instagram. It's a very, very simple process. So if you like this tutorial, if it helped you in any way, slap that like button, drop me a comment if you have any questions and I'll try to answer them. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here too, cause I would love to have you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Can I get another one to show?